make this go on forever. My wife and I got together around that album and that was on every single night. And to this day, <laughs> boom. Oh man, it cuts deep. It cuts awesome. deep. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That song is now about 47 hours long live when we play it. It's, uh, we've added and added and added to it. It just keeps getting longer and longer. The darkness <laughs> it's, got darker. <laughs> it's just got darker and darker. You, yeah, you've got to really, you've got to cancel your plans for the rest of the yes. rest of the week when you listen. Oh, to I'd like to actually, do you know what now? That'd be a nice surprise if I, if I wheeled out the 47 hour version of that tonight while we're having dinner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. It sounds you different. Can go on, go on. Yeah, you can go and have dinner. You can go out. You go to a restaurant and come back. We go away for the weekend. It's still playing, yeah. you know. <laughs> hey, but though, with the new stuff, um, the beginning, it's it's heart on sleeve, isn't it? Um, yeah, I, th I, I think so. I hope so. Um, definitely, we, you know, me, Johnny and Nathan definitely poured our hearts onto it. Um, and there's blood, sweat and tears in there somewhere too, as there should be on every album. But um uh, yeah, no, for sure. It's it's uh, I, I like to get to the heart of things or at least try to. That's the that's the that's the intention. Whether it gets there or not is another is 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 up to the individual listener. I suppose. But there's there's there seems to be most definitely, you know, a story there. There's there's still talk of dark places and this, that and the other. And there's apologies looked for and there's, you know, it's it's. It's it seems like real life, and that's something that you seem to do very very well. It's it lyrically things are, there's stories and there's, dare I say, poetry in there. You know. Oh, that's very kind of you. Um, th th this this record was slightly different for me lyrically. Um, Johnny, uh, Johnny and, and Nathan and myself wrote, wrote the music, but with the words, I normally sort of disappear off somewhere and write them you know, at my house or something. And, and this time around, Johnny would like challenge me to go, why don't you write them in the room when we're, you know, making the music and we'll write the whole thing in the, in the same day. And so every single song in this record, almost, I think 90% of them um, were written on the same, on this, you know, the lyrics were written the same day as the music. So it, everything feels, for me anyway, it feels like that has helped the record feel really like alive you know organic spontaneous yeah there's a word that you could use for sure and um i what i'd done before the record even started was i just i which i'd never really done before i'm always writing but i never really sort of i don't see an album in the distance and go i better start okay. writing lyrics for it i normally just we know we make the music and then i write the lyrics um but I was just writing lyrics and I knew they were for this record. I just knew they were. And I was um, writing and writing and writing. And then when the, when we actually came to making the songs and writing the songs, I would lift like a line that I'd already written out and then let it, let everything grow from that line. Right. Um, so they were kind of like the little seeds that I just placed in the song. And then, so there was like these, these little signposts that I was sort yeah. of gathering along the way. So this record was completely different in so many different ways that that, that we've done before. You know that everything felt very um, spontaneous. So was it a challenge? Was it something that you actually enjoyed writing it that way? And kind of, hey lads, what do you think of Loved it. you know what do you think of this? Uh, and and getting that instant feedback because there must be that time when okay, I I have this. This is what we're going to sing, and. Were were you more nervous of the lyrics? I guess maybe that's the question. No, I th I, th I think in the past I've been more nervous. Um, I think this time round, uh, you know, I'd be showing them to Johnny or Nathan and going, you know, like sometimes you're like a like a dog with a um, with a uh, or a cat with a you know a bird or something like that. You're like yeah. just leave it on the doorstep. Like, <laughs> yeah. um, is these is this a thing? Is this any you know? Do you want this? <laughs> um, and um, and you know, so sometimes. Uh, there was still that moment where you're, um, you're, you're not not that Johnny or Nathan would ever make me feel like this. I would feel like this without without them ever intending me to, but like you feel like you're home, like you're you're delivering homework, um, and uh, um, but most of the time that feeling wasn't there. That feeling was just like the the songs were sort of coming to life from those little seeds, but they were just springing to life quite, dare I say, easily because I have spent five years sometimes trying to write the lyrics of a song. 
Okay. And there was none of that on this. They were okay. all either written in a day or they were written in the studio when I was just about to sing the song. And, um, you know, at Fraser's, Fraser T. Smith's studio. And there was a couple of th- bits of pieces that I hadn't quite finished that I finished in the moment. Um, and, and and it all felt like it was just happening very easy is the wrong word. No, but, um, no. With, with, with less... Um, gnashing of teeth than there has maybe been in the past. And the beginning, that that first track that that we're getting from the new album is is that take one, one take done. Well, uh, Johnny was very when we were doing the bio interview um, with the wonderful Dan Cairns. Um, Johnny said that, and it, it it found its way into the bio. But but please let me say, um, and I have been. Um, correcting the record that is that was done in one take but there were many 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 songs in on this record and every other record we ever made that were multiple multiple takes sure. on vocals there was <laughs> there was there's yeah, plenty but... of times where i have not um not got it. but one of How the great things there one of the great on the first so, go that it's the one well it nothing i, I tried re-singing it a couple of times over the course of the two years because we wrote it um april t- 2022 uh-huh. so there's been a little bit of time in between there there and then so i tried a few different ways of singing it and it didn't really work out um so i just um we just it just never felt like we needed to okay we need to worry about it but but in that moment when i finished the lyrics and then i just kind of sung i was sitting down i kind of sung it with i was just really relaxed and I, you know, um, Johnny's there, someone I love like a brother, and I just felt very calm and very relaxed. And uh, well, he is my brother, um, <laughs> and uh, uh, we just are me and Nathan and Johnny just are. We just are. Um, it doesn't matter who doesn't matter who our parents are. We're brothers. Mm. Um, but uh, uh, it's uh, it just it just was that was the moment. And sometimes that moment comes the the minute you write the song, and sometimes that moment comes much, much later. Um, and it had nothing to do with it being the first take. It was just the right moment because it could yeah. have been a hundred takes to find that right moment, but it just was. But I was talking with my boy, Nathan, yesterday and we were listening to ZZ Top and it was the first, ZZ Top's first album. And he was like, how many are in this band? And I said, there's only three, you know, it's bass player, lead guitar, vocal and drums. And he's like, that's that's not many. And I, cause he's five. <laughs> And, I'm, and then I, I was like, I got the heads up. I was talking to you and I was like, God, that's interesting because we're back to three and it still sounds as big. And clearly from how you're talking, three feels right. It's a nice tight unit again. It is. But, but we're, you know, we always will honour the past deep, deeply because we went through so much with them, um, with everybody that's been yeah. in Snow Patrol and we love them all. Um, um, and it's just that we want to um, celebrate what's, happening in the present and look towards the future and um, with the three of us and um yeah i'm very very happy right now the record i cannot wait for people to hear the album the forest is the path i can't, I can't wait um because i'm so excited about it and we had such fun making it especially with when we got in with fraser t smith you know the four of us together was the the chemistry, chemistry was so was magic. palpable yeah talk to me very quickly about the artwork gary because i i loved it was almost like Earth's core in my eyes, you know, the, the, the fiery ring and then it kind of gets bluer mm. as you go out okay. and, and then, and obviously everyone will interpret that differently, but then I was curious about the, the, the sort of the lines in the circle and ah, know, yeah. Right. You see, you look deep. Yeah. You look deep. Well, there's actually, I, I, I very rarely film myself painting, but I film myself painting that one. Ah. And when you see the video, you will be you'll you'll pat yourself on the back because you'll find there is paint. It's painted over another painting that I painted. Ah, there is actually wow. a, 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 a there is actually a human figure in that circle of fire. Stop it! Yeah, no. love it. Well, you know, and then we've got to talk about very quickly about the gigs. Uh, you're coming to see us then in Dublin. You've got Belfast in Ireland. You've got uh, Dublin Three Arena. Last time, th- they were literally swinging from the rafters. Are we in for more of that again? 
I can't I oh my goodness I can't wait I can't get, can't wait to get back to Dublin I can't wait to um, we're playing Limerick this summer as well yep. I can't I just can't I just can't wait it's going to be so much fun we're we're about to start rehearsals in two Limerick weeks. is the only show this year that the stuff we're talking about is all 2025 so yeah the tour the 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 sort of album tour uh, if you want to call it that um the the forest is the path tour starts in the end of january in europe and then we're um yeah we're we're in the uk and ireland in in uh february. in february but yeah limerick is the only show in uh it's- only one of our shows we're doing some festivals but the only one of our shows in any um uh, anywhere in in ireland uh this year Okay. Listen, it's been really nice to talk to you. Really appreciate your time. Thanks for talking to Nova. If you if you're ever hanging around Dublin, please feel free to pop in because we <laughs> Thank you. We love the Snow Patrol and my wife and I are very <laughs> thankful for everything that's gone on in the past. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, yeah, come and see us play live and we'll play you that 40, 47 oh, hour listen, version of Mixus. Just stop. Let me see what anniversary's coming up here that I can rope you into. <laughs> Look after yourself. Take care.